Do you love Mexican food but find yourself ordering the same old tired tacos or chimichangas every time you visit your favorite burrito joint? Perhaps you've been hesitant to try that super authentic place down the street, worried that you won't recognize anything offered on the menu. Never fear! The following primer on the best dishes to try at Mexican restaurants will take all the anxiety out of your next Mexican food fiesta. Chilaquiles if the idea of eating leftover tortillas doesn't sound appetizing, you've probably never had chilaquiles. The tortillas, once stale, are sautéed in a pan with red or green sauce, and sometimes topped with melted cheese or sour cream. While chilaquiles' as simplest preparations are actually popular for breakfast in Mexico, variations with meats and vegetables appear on many lunch and dinner menus. If you like nachos, chances are you will enjoy chilaquiles. Though the texture is different, they have a similar flavor profile. Chalupas A popular street food in central Mexico, chalupas are named for the canoes navigated by the ancient Aztecs through the waterways of what is now Mexico City. Corn tortillas are fried in lard for just a few moments. The result is a still pliable, not quite crispy as a taco base that is topped with favorites like fresh salsa, stewed meats, and cheese, and then served open-faced. Once you have one, though, you may not be able to put them down. Drop the chalupa, put it down, and back away. Sir, don't be silly. Drop the chalupa. Sopa Soups are well-loved in Mexico, and a popular one is caldo de pollo, otherwise known as chicken soup. Popular soups you'll see on an authentic Mexican menu will likely include sopa de tortilla, tortilla soup, sopa de habas, fava bean soup, and sopa de frijol, black bean soup. A good, truly Mexican restaurant will take their soup very seriously, so ordering a bowl before your meal is definitely recommended. Tamales in ancient Aztec times, tamales varied in size and wrapping, depending on what was available. Banana leaves, tree bark, and sometimes even scraps of fabric were used to wrap the tamales before they were steamed in underground pits. Modern-day tamales, on the other hand, are created by making dough from hominy flour and wrapping it in a corn husk along with fillings like meat, cheese, and vegetables. The tamales are then steamed in large pots on the stove. A time-intensive process, tamale making is often reserved for holiday celebrations with groups of family and friends spending the entire day making them at a social event known as a tamalada. Delicious tamales, everyone! <laughs> Chile relleno one of Mexico's most popular and traditional dishes, the chile relleno originally hails from the colonial city of Puebla. The city's namesake poblano pepper is charred and peeled and either stuffed simply with cheese or with a variety of fillings. The pepper is then dipped in an egg batter and fried to perfection. Traditionally topped with red salsa, eclectic variations can be seen on many a menu, depending on regions and tastes. Chile relleños are an ideal dish for those looking for an authentic Mexican dish with a little heat. Mole. The name literally means sauce, but mole means so much more than just sauce to the people of Mexico, with recipes differing widely from region to region and even family to family. If you spy mole on a Mexican restaurant menu, chances are that it will be one of the darker varieties, like mole poblano or mole negro. The thick, savory sauce is painstakingly slow-cooked over hours or even days and may contain a mixture of chilies, nut pastes, garlic, dried fruits, spices, and chocolate. Try mole served over chicken or turkey. Mole poblano de guajolote, poblano pepper mole with turkey, is considered by many to be the national dish of Mexico. Barbacoa The word barbacoa, which means barbecue, can refer to any slow-roasted barbecued meat. For example, at the popular chain restaurant Chipotle, the barbacoa served is made from beef. Traditional barbacoa, however, usually refers to sheep or goat, which is cooked over an open fire or in a covered fire pit. This deliciously charred meat is then topped with a variety of salsas or mole. If you see barbacoa on a menu, be sure to inquire as to which meat is used, or take a chance on a delicious surprise. Thanks for watching! Click the mashed icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love, too!